Hey everybody, it's Pastor Mike at Emmanuel Lutheran Church. Just wanting to check in and touch base, see how you're doing. This week I was uh, preparing for the sermon and there was such a richness in the text. I preached from the gospel, but I wanted to share with you some, some true richness from St. Paul's letter to the Church of Rome that I, I think is quite helpful and quite necessary in these difficult days. Who would have thought in March when all of this uh, started and when we, we stopped having worship that we would still be here um, at the end of July? Of course, it's wearing thin on everybody. And we have been here and there and so much different information that really it, it's hard to know what to do, where to go, how to how to make sense, how to process all of this information. And that makes us anxious. Makes me anxious. Um so how do we how do we muddle through? What do we even begin to to pray for? Do we um try to pray for us to to go back, to stay home? Do we we pray for masks and for not to have to have masks? I mean there's just just so much. Um, but I think that the lessons for this coming week were helpful. One of my favorite uh, is the, the passage, like I said, from St. Paul. It said, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God who searches the heart knows what is in the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. The Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. Have you ever been just at a loss for words? Lord, I don't know. I don't even know what to pray for. And the Spirit comes in the midst of our sighs, and God understands. The other passage is absolutely one of my favorite passages. It's often used in, in uh, funeral sermons, reminding us that nothing Nothing in all creation can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Nothing. Nothing in all creation. Not COVID, not all of this stuff that we're experiencing, not, not any of the heartache, none of the frustration. Nothing can separate us from God's love. That's the promise that we have. St. Paul writes, for I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor power, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Wow, what powerful words, what, what a powerful witness. That nothing can separate us from God's love. Nothing. And that when we feel like we don't even know what to pray, God says, I'll pray on your behalf through the Spirit with sighs too deep for words. There's a little song that uh, we all heard and memorized a long time ago, Jesus Loves Me. We'll just sing the first verse. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak. 
Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Don't lose hope. Keep the faith. God loves you and nothing can separate you from that love. And when you just don't know what to say, you don't know how to pray, know that the Spirit will intercede with those sighs that are too deep for words. Peace. Take care. And God bless.